Q&A time on the CU podcast. This is from at Phil Tyler 80, Alaskan King. Um, parent hit with backlash after deleting, after deleting Minecraft world, their young son spent a year building as punishment for, for as, as a punishment for sleeping. Yeah, I guess sleeping too late. This comes from the Am I the Asshole Reddit thread. And I'm guessing we're going to take this at face value that it's true. So this is what happened. Uh, this is the story from the asshole. And I guess he's been deemed an asshole by the community. I, which I guess that's how it works in it. I have two children, a nine-year-old. You can get, uh, uh, there's, uh, NTA, which is not the asshole. Okay. Uh, there's, uh, ITA, which I think is the asshole. Okay. Or are an asshole. And then there was, uh, there's like a, uh, there's one where it's like both people are the asshole. This just says asshole. Yeah. Is it? Okay. Uh, I have two children, a nine-year-old son and a six-year-old daughter. My son had a Minecraft world where he built quite an impressive castle on an island, which he was very proud to show to me. Mm. Since school was canceled, he had issues with waking up on time. He's supposed to wake up at seven each morning, but for the past month, he's been sleeping in until about nine or ten. I always set an alarm for him, but he sleeps right through it. I don't wake him up because waking himself up is a skill that he needs to learn. I told him about two weeks ago that there were going to be consequences for him if he continues to sleep in every morning. At first, he understood and was waking up every morning, but for the past week or so, he has fallen back into old habits. I told him yesterday that this is his final warning. Today, he slept in until 11. So I followed through with my warning and went on the computer and deleted his favorite Minecraft world. I also took away computer privileges for the next month. When I told him, he started screaming and crying. He told me that he spent a whole year working on that world and he's very distraught that he's never going to see it again. He's been crying and sobbing throughout the day and has refused to eat any of his meals. So he was deemed an asshole in the community. Yeah, you are an asshole. Um, wow. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't even play Minecraft, but like, how old is the kid? Nine. Nine. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Parents, look, I, I feel weird like offering parenting advice because it's always me saying I'm never going to have kids. You need to understand why things are important to your kids. You need to understand, make sure you understand the things that your kids are doing. And if this guy did understand what Minecraft was, then it's definitely him being an asshole. Um, if a kid slept in and a father's response was to go down into the basement and destroy every Lego creation that kid has made. Are you good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, was going to destroy every leg and destroyed every Lego creation um, that kid had built over the past year. That father would be rightly fucking pilloried. Like he would just, I mean, that would be a absolutely awful thing to do. Um, destroying, you know, your kid's creative uh, outlet. Um, Minecraft is just Legos for people without the space. And without the actual Legos, you're putting in the same amount of time. You're doing the same amount of building. You're doing the same amount of creating. And yes, people and kids put hundreds and hundreds of hours into these things. Um, taking away computer privileges, that's fine. That's normal fucking parent behavior. But deleting the Minecraft world? No, I think that's, that's very much a, a big asshole thing. And if your kid is nine and he's having trouble getting up, like, some of this isn't just that's what all that bothers me it doesn't seem like he's thinking about well maybe there's reasons why my kid is sleeping until 11 maybe it's not just my kid is lazy maybe he's not getting enough sleep at night or maybe there's a problem maybe it's you know something along those lines there's all sorts of reasons why that is just an absolutely awful reaction i think well there there's two ways to um deal with children positive or negative reinforcement this was obviously negative reinforcement versus positive where you where you reward someone for doing well so that's how i mean not tell someone how to parent but that's what i would say i would say if you get up at seven you will be allowed to play minecraft yeah if not you're not right and that's positive reinforcement it's that easy you don't have to fucking delete his goddamn minecraft world <laughs> yeah you 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 reward for good behavior or you, you can punish for bad obviously if it gets too extreme the problem with this is that this sounds like if, if this is to be a belief he went to an extreme an ext extreme extreme which he didn't maybe understand which i don't know how you don't if like it's not like that's what i'm saying like uh, pay attention to what your kids are doing understand what they're doing be yeah. interested because i think any reasonable parent i don't want to jump to the conclusion that every parent is an asshole i feel like it maybe if this parent knew what it was they wouldn't have done that 
know what I'm saying? It's not just I think like, they know because if they, if they right. go online, yeah. they know they feel guilt for asking about. Uh, did, what, did he actually warn that I will delete your your Minecraft world? Because I guarantee if he did, the kid would have gotten up at 7 a.m. every day for the rest of his life. Um, yeah, the kid needs some discipline, obviously. Sure. Sleeping through an alarm. And there's no excuse for that. You know, get up and fucking do your... You still have school work when you're, when you're at home with all this going on. You still have stuff to do. But, um, yeah, I... I, I, yeah, obviously, it's I be I feel horrified because obviously the kids are remember this forever now. I mean, yeah, that's that's going to be something where I'm even if they patch it up, that kid is going to be they're going to sit around. Uh, yeah. Dad and kid are going to be having a beer. It's going to be like, remember when you fucking deleted My, that Minecraft world I worked for on a year? The closest thing that happened to me was when I, I think I brought this up. My father threw out Marky Stevens's. He threw out all his clothes and his bed. I built a little cardboard bed. I put a little pillow in it, a little thing. And he was my little buddy. And I cried for probably the entire day. Then I probably cried the next day. And I felt like shit for probably two weeks after my dad did that. And my dad was just like, he claimed that I said it was okay to throw the stuff out. Like it wasn't in anyone's way. It was just in the back rec room. I would never have agreed to that. Like, like why would like, so my dad always had a weird, th he still to this day has a weird thing about like clutter like, look at me. It's like, yeah, that's where I get it from. But, like, he went to the extreme and threw out things that there was room to keep. That Like, he went to the opposite extreme. So, like, he would throw out, hey, I'm going to throw out all your, your NES boxes or all your Nintendo Power. It's like, it's a stack this big, Dad. It's like, it's not a lot of room. Keep it in the attic. Like, right. he, he, went, he went to this weird other extreme, like, not wanting to be have all this weird... Like, like he went to the, the extreme. The opposite end of hoarding. And, and, of course, he creates me now from this. Like, he went somewhere, I can't throw out anything because he threw out shit he sh shouldn't have. Thanks, Dad. But anyway, so that's what I mean. It's like... But I still bring it up to him because it was it showed like how callous your parent could be in doing something, having a, a total disregard for the emotional health of your child. And just not understanding or taking the time to understand what something might actually mean to your child. Yeah. yeah it's not just the fact that Marky Stevens, you know, he still has clothes, but it's the fact that I I had this relationship built up with him or he was like my little friend and I, I literally adopted him. As, as a Cabbage Patch kid. They literally, literally have adoption papers. It's something special. That's why Cabbage Patch kids were popular. It wasn't just having a regular doll. You know, can't call him an action figure. It is a doll. It's a kid. I mean, you could put him in some action situations if you wanted to. Did they sell a military outfit? I think they did for Cabbage Patch kids. Did they? Really? They did sports outfits and NASA and everything. But, um... Yeah, so it's just, I, I hope with time... First of all, how did you delete it for good? You think you would have, if you were... Well, that's the only thing I'm wondering is, like, is it truly deleted for good, or is there a way to, you is know... Is it in the recycle bin? I, I don't know. What did, you, what did you have made a backup of it in case your kid behaves? and Even just to scare him? Maybe maybe that's one of the things, hey, I delete it. See him cry, then you say, no, 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 I, I, no it's, I really have it, but let you know how serious it is. That, wouldn't, that would still be bad. It wouldn't be as horrible. Maybe you do that. You, you keep a backup somewhere. So yeah. there are some Cabbage Patch kids wearing uh, camo fatigues. I don't know if these were made for them or if official? they were official. Well, but that well that well that uh, that salmon colored overalls and my, my great aunt made that. Nice. Well, that outfit's made. The socks are you know those are those are the replacement those are, socks. No, those are the real socks. Oh. The socks. My my father. The worst thing was my father threw out the shoes. So I thought of a, he's going to hurt his feet now. Right. Marky's going to hurt his feet. Like that's just cold. It's cold. It's just cold. It's a cold world. But I did buy a replacement clone that exact model with the original outfit so that's what it was so I knew I, I knew you'd done something. so I have the original outfit uh, which was like a sports I think number 21 or something I have and so I have the clone that but now I feel bad I don't want to declothe the clone it's not it, now I don't want to punish him for something my dad did 35 years ago you know now I'm in a weird weird conundrum now a lot to unpack like, like a lot I, to unpack <laughs> I don't think I don't think Mark you want me to do that either to, to the poor clone hanging out in the garage right now so now it's now like I don't know what to do <laughs> I don't want to like uh, strip the, the the clone Marky Stevens and then have to sell a naked Cabbage Patch kid. That raises too many questions. Oh, well, that's all the time we have for today. Am I wrong? That's it's completely <laughs> unnecessary <laughs> podcast. Pat, I'm trying uh, to know, save you. Don't, you don't want to argue I'm that one to, for some reason. That one you want to slide right I'm by. I need to save you on this one. You know, I just think it's something to be thought of. You know, mm. don't throw out six year old thick but quick. I wasn't thick but quick then. I was I was quick. I wasn't thick yet. I wasn't thick until after the NES. I wasn't thick until about like eight nine. I, like eight, I started to get thick. At that point, eight years old was thick. Thick Pat. The Ocho. The, the Ocho. Yeah. The NES didn't help. Obviously, my mom making brownies every other day and mm. cookies didn't help. They were good, though. After school, nice warm brownies. 
Oh man. Mm. Sorry, what was I saying? I, we were wrapping up that Q and A. We're wrapping up the podcast. You we're want to ra- do one more? Yeah, we'll we'll save that one for next week. 